And it came to pass after this, that his name during his lifetime was raised aloft to that Son of Man, and to the Lord of Spirits, from amongst those who dwell on the earth. And he was raised aloft on chariots of the Spirit, and his name vanished among them. And from that day I was no longer numbered amongst them. And he set me between the two winds, between the north and the west, where the angels took the cords to measure for me the place for the elect and righteous. And there I saw the first fathers and the righteous who from the beginning dwell in that place. And it came to pass after this that my spirit was translated, and it ascended into the heavens. And I saw the holy sons of God. They were stepping on flames of fire. Their garments were white, and their raiment, and their faces shone like snow. And I saw two streams of fire, and the light of that fire shone like hyacinth. And I fell on my face before the Lord of Spirits. And the angel Michael, one of the archangels, seized me by my right hand, and lifted me up, and led me forth into all the secrets. And he showed me all the secrets of righteousness, and he showed me all the secrets of the ends of the heaven, and all the chambers of all the stars, and all the luminaries, whence they proceed before the face of the holy ones. And he translated my spirit into the heaven of heavens, and I saw there, as it were, a structure built of crystals, and between those crystals tongues of living fire. And my spirit saw the girdle which girt that house of fire. And on its four sides were streams full of living fire. And they girt that house. And round about were seraphim, cherubim, and ophanim. And these are they who sleep not, and guard the throne of his glory. And I saw angels who could not be counted, a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand encircling that house, and Michael and Raphael and Gabriel and Phanuel and the holy angels who were above the heavens go in and out of that house. And they came forth from that house, and Michael and Gabriel, Raphael and Phanuel, and many holy angels without number, and with them the head of days. And his head was white and pure as wool, and his raiment indescribable. And I fell on my face, and my whole body became relaxed, and my spirit was transfigured. And I cried with a loud voice, and with the spirit of power, and blessed, and glorified, and extolled. And these blessings which went forth out of my mouth were well pleasing before that head of days. And that head of days came with Michael, and Gabriel, Raphael, and Phanuel, thousands and ten thousands of angels without number. Lost passage wherein the Son of Man was described as accompanying the head of days, and Enoch asked one of the angels concerning the Son of Man as to who he was. And the angel came to me and greeted me with his voice and said unto me, This is the Son of Man who is born unto righteousness, and righteousness abides over him, and the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not. And he said unto me, he proclaims unto thee peace in the name of the world to come. For from hence has proceeded peace since the creation of the world. And so shall it be unto thee forever and forever and ever. And all shall walk in his ways, since righteousness never forsaketh him. With him will be their dwelling places, and with him their heritage. And they shall not be separated from him forever and ever and ever. And so there shall be length of days with that Son of Man, and the righteous shall have peace and an upright way, in the name of the Lord of Spirits, forever and ever.